Hello everybody and welcome back to Santa Fe Model Railroading. Today we have a Bachman Spectrum Doodlebug, the Doodlebug number M177, which is a Santa Fe model. This is what it looks like today. It's currently housed at a museum called Travel Town, north of Los Angeles. And these are very unusual creatures in train history, as you'll find out. The doodle bugs were great for the railroads because they very efficiently helped them service the rural areas, the backwoods, and the short lines of the railroads. The 177 was last utilized between Pampa, Texas and Clinton, Oklahoma in 1953. After that it went to Topeka, Kansas where it sat until it was donated to Travel Town. Now the 177 still has its original Winton motor. Most of those were converted over to diesels. The next generation came from the factory with the diesel motors already installed. This version here with the ore bonnet and silver streamline was one of the original diesels, all diesel. And the third generation of the Doodlebug was of course all diesel as well. Alright, it's time to get going on this unboxing. As you can see, we got another eBay purchase, which is our Bachman Spectrum Doodle Mug. Look at that one corner, it's really smashed. This thing took a big hit, so it's a good thing you put lots of tape on it. That kind of helped it a little bit. You gotta talk to your eBay sellers and get them to wrap things up the way you want it, not the way they want it. All right, let's see what we got here. Lots of peanuts. That's what you want to see. So far, so good. Don't even see the box yet. Let me dig down. There it is. Big bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. That's the good stuff here. Very nice. This guy did a very good job. I had to poke and prod him a little bit, but he did a good job. Outstanding. And there's the doodle bug. And wow. Oh, priority mailbox. Priority mailbox. Just what I didn't want to see. <laughs> he used it as uh, packing to keep it uh, protected from the sides. Good job, guy. Like it. There's another one. And nothing else in here except lots and lots of peanuts. Lots of them. Very good. All right. Well, let's get this thing unwrapped and check it out. All right. The Bachman box had a nice piece of film in it. It helped protect all this detail. If I can get it focused here. Uh, it had nice foam on top. Nice and tight. And I like the way my eBay seller put the Bachman box inside another box full of peanuts. Mm -hmm. That's the way I want it. A lot of detail parts. I'm glad none of them got knocked off. Came out perfect. Not much on the top, just some roof vents. It does have a hook horn coupler on it, which I'll have to change that out. Simple roof. Radiator seems kind of small compared to the prototype. Handrails on the back. Under carriage detail, you got some fuel tanks some air tanks, stirrups coming down, a lot of detail on this so I'm glad it was nicely packed, came out great. A couple are on the front. Now the trucks are four-wheel trucks, they're spread way apart. The front one is the only power, the back one has zero power. All right, let's put it on the test track and give it a run here, right out of the box. Anxious to see what this thing will do give it some power and it works backwards that's a good sign I'm not sure when this was originally manufactured it still had a hook horn on it so I have to look at the paperwork and see I want to give it about half power the motor seems kind of loud 
kind of toyish. Can't really see the light yet. This first turn is 18 inch radius. And we'll go through. See if it go. Yeah. Looks awkward, but it does go through. I was kind of scared. We got a little more power going on the back behind the freight yard. Very loud motor. I'm not sure what's in this thing. It's just noisy. Going through the first and second switches, no problems. A couple more 18 inch turns here. Nice and smooth. There you see the light on the front. Don't really see anything on the interior. I'm not sure if that has a light or not. Very loud. I'm not real happy with the motor drive in here. So, all right. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to get a car. Normally, they would pull a heavyweight car. All I have is an old Pullman. This is a, a Tyco that I got when I was a child, 1964. It has metal trucks and a metal bottom. It's pretty heavy. It's a good tester. It does have uh, the original hook horn couplers on it, so that's why I'm going to use it here on this demonstration. Give it about half power. Go through the 18 inch radius. And oh, she's sticking. The wheels are spinning. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. So might be a slight incline there, but the second one seems okay. Wow. Thing is noisy. Let me give it a little more power going through these back turns. I'm worried it's going to get stuck in this next turn where I can't reach it. And there it goes. No problem. Very loud. Very loud. You can see a little bit of light in the uh, passenger compartment. You can see the front light real well. There must be some kind of light in there. It's pretty weak. I have to change it to LED. I'm not sure what's going on down here in this turn. It's just spinning the wheels. It's struggling. I'm going to have to open this thing up in the next video and see what's going on. Not happy with that motor drive at all. Now I've changed the coupler out, kind of matched the front coupler with a scale head KD coupler. I like the way the um, coupler box moves with the trucks. It's kind of a neat feature. If I do set this up on the track, I'm probably not going to turn it to DCC because it's just so weak. I'll just run it on DC and put it on a reversing track. Self auto reverse. So it's, it's a demonstrator. It's going to be an excursion train. San Pedro Mountain Railroad Museum has bought this thing and they're going to be using it for excursions on the layout. So. That's how we can use these ancient artifacts on the modern layout. Belongs to the museum, Railroad Museum. And they're going to be operating it and doing excursions on the layout. Nice detail on the front, nice brass bell. Uh, the engineer can't see through this glass. This glass is terrible. I'm going to have to do something about that. And that windshield wiper is awful. It's huge. It's like having a big bat in front of your face. Imagine trying to drive this with that in front of your face. So, just looks like a blob in there. Not happy with that. And this uh, front coupler is just um, for looks. It doesn't function at all. Which, no big deal. I'm not going to be pulling anything with the front of it anyway. I don't see any reason to change the coupler out. The handrails are pretty nice. Stirrups are nice. Here you see the engineer from the side. Horribly painted. Looks stupid. I'm going to have to replace that guy. I'm going to have him hanging out the window. Side here. Pretty nice. Things straight. I'm going to have to do some weathering on the bottom. Now this window here has got some manufactured defect. But you can see the chairs on the inside. So I'll put some passengers in there. 
Uh, the rear bellows is kind of weak. It's kind of flat from packing. I might change it out. We'll see what happens if it uh, kinks work out of it. Nice handrails on the back. And there you can see a little drive shaft uh, coming from the center. Uh, not sure what kind of motor it is in here. I'm going to have to open it up and you'll have to see what's in there when I see it in the next video. But it is a toy sounding motor. I don't know what the problem is with it, but I'm going to open it up and see if I can get it going better. Now here is a Bachman uh, motor drive that's on an F7 that I bought for my nephew. It's a toy uh, that he can play with. These are pretty reliable, but uh, I hope that is not what's in this thing. I really do. So stay tuned for the next video. We'll open this thing up and see what makes it tick. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to keep it alive.